Hey viewers, welcome to another game for Casual Pro Gamer. Today we are doing a Victor game, and with Victor being the new champion, well, up until today or tomorrow or something like that, um, yeah, I'm kind of late in bringing him to you, but yeah, nobody sent me a game. Finally, Winchaman sent me a game, and I wanted to start off by just giving him a little bit of a shout out uh, he has its own his own uh, YouTube channel uh, I will post a link in the description it is youtube.com slash the uh, so if you like his play and I am pretty sure you will go check him out anyhow uh, we see a team here where Victor is probably going mid uh, Warwick Jungle, and then Melfi Top, and Grave Soraka in bottom lane against, well, a Shaco Jungle. That should be interesting, by the way. Warwick versus Shaco. Uh, Brand mid, maybe Gragas mid, nah. Um, but I guess Gragas will go top. I, to be honest, I have no idea because Gragas can go mid, Brand can go mid, and then Talon can go top. And Gragas, I guess, can go top, and Timo can go top, but Timo can go bottom lane as well. So we'll have to see how they um, decide to go there, because they don't really have a support champion. So they don't really have anyone that can play the game without having uh, minions, and that is kind of the uh, the terrain of the support champion. So we once again see the client lagging a little bit here so we're already 40 seconds in game and Soraka is still at uh, uh, at the summoner platform anyhow um, yeah we will be in mid lane just like I assumed and yeah this guy is not connecting that is excellent What's Graves doing? Oh, Graves has no items. That is too good. Dude, what kind of ELO are you playing? <laughs> no. Oh, there we go. Here, Shiraka just connected. Um, yeah, they didn't get the CV off in the beginning of the game. Anyhow, um, <laughs> Graves now coming back with an item, and Shiraka is still. Standing around here, don't know what she's waiting for. But they do spot the, uh, well, the the enemy champion, well, at least one of the enemy champions, uh, being around the enemy blue, which is kind of strange because I would have expected Shaco to go red and then, well, gank right afterwards. Because that's what you normally see. Well, we see him going for either Rage plus Red or uh, Double Golems plus Red. So maybe Brand was just there to protect the blue or to keep an eye on the blue. And yeah, we see uh, Gragas <laughs> trying to get some damage done on, uh, on Warwick. And apparently Warwick getting damaged quite a bit because he used his Flash to get out of that. And there's Timo. <laughs> oh man. Oh yeah, they do. <laughs> they do get the uh, the work. Oh, I sorry, I uh, I missed mid lane ki the mid lane kill, but I didn't expect him to get a kill this early, and I did expect this fight to uh, become somewhat interesting. Um, yeah, starting off here with uh, the shield and death ray, I think, yeah. So the gravity... Oh, no, it's power transfer. Gravity field is the other one. Yeah, anyway, I didn't expect him to get a kill this early. And, um, yeah, it's kind of strange to see Gragas in the jungle, to be honest. Anyway, we'll go over the skills a little bit. Uh, first of all, yeah, you get a hex tech, uh, a hex core, and you can upgrade that. But the strange thing is, all it does is plus three ability power per level. So, yeah, it's not a really great passive uh, or innate ability, as it should be called. 
Oh, that was a nice stun by uh, by Brand, but he didn't follow up, and it's uh, it's not a problem. Anyway, I don't think it's it's really great, but yeah, I guess I I don't think it's great because it's you lose an item slot for an item that does well three uh, AP per level, and then um, you have to pay gold for it to upgrade it, but you can only upgrade it into or you can only upgrade it uh, once for a thousand gold, and a lot of games. You have too much gold anyway, so you basically, if you buy all of these cheap items, then you will have too little uh, space in your inventory to get the nice items. So we'll have to see if it actually works out in this case. So I'm not sure. I think it cost 1,200 back when this game was played, but now the uh, the upgrades cost 1,000. Yeah, there we go. And you cannot sell the hex core, which kind of makes it less useful in my opinion. But well, I I think it should have been uh, here. So they should have made a seventh item slot for just Victor, and made him able to upgrade it to well li like they do it now. Because losing an item sp slot like this is really huge. Because you cannot use. Um, the doors opening, you cannot so multiple doors rings basically. Uh, you cannot do a whole lot of things to be honest. Uh, and since the hex core can only be upgraded for 1,000 gold, it is not the best item uh, out there. It probably gives you more of a boost than a normal item that is 1,000 gold uh, would give you. But then again, you don't have uh, an innate ability. Because it doesn't do anything except give you the hex core. <laughs> so, anyway, um, power transfer down. Um, oh, it is where uh, Victor throws out kind of a projectile, sort of a boomerang like uh, Cipher has, and it hits someone for a bit of damage, and then you get part of that damage as uh, as a shield. Oh wow, that did a lot of damage there. And is he actually going to stay alive? No, 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 no. But yeah, Brand taking a lot of damage there from, uh, I think, the Death Ray. But we'll get to that. Anyway, uh, this one does uh, 40... Pr or, well, uh, at the moment about 200 damage and 40% of that damage is uh, becomes a shield. And yeah, that's... That's a good thing. I mean, having a shield is always good, and having it do damage would make it even better. Then uh, gravity field. This is my personal favorite. Um, it is a round shield or a round uh, thingy on the floor, and if people walk over it, they will get uh, slowed and then eventually stunned. Um, yeah. So that to me that is a really good skill. Uh you can zone people out with it pretty efficiently. And why does he have a pink ward? Oh for Shaco. Okay. So Shaco, yeah, Shaco can go invisible. Uh, you normally don't see a pink ward against Shaco, but yeah, well. Normally you only see pink wards against Evelyn and um and Twitch. Would be great to have some more stealth heroes, or heroes that actually have stealth as one of their main skills, not just. Wow, nice, uh, nice flash here, uh, dodging the uh, the. Uh, well, th both of them. Wow, that was a lot of damage, and he does get killed. Yeah, wow. Ah, <sighs> doing so well. Yeah, maybe he should have ran back to his turret. Not sh yeah, of obviously the same thing could have happened. And they do get a kill on uh, on Brand. Anyhow, <laughs> so that's the gravity field. Then we have the death ray, as you might have already seen. It's kind of a um, a line. So you make a line of uh, uh, whatever it is. 
let's call it just magic damage uh, and well it does AOE damage along the line as well as uh, at a little bit of a width but I'll show you what it looks like yeah so you can use it like this you um, basically select it let me wait until it's off cooldown Here, you can select the f first point and then aim the uh, the arrow wherever you want it to go and um, yeah it does quite a bit of damage so I'm assuming he's leveling this one up yeah well he's leveling up both of them because he doesn't like the gravity field apparently I do like the gravity field I'm just not sure if it would work against uh, against Brand, but I know it'll work against uh, the Shaco. And, yeah. It doesn't work against the minions, by the way, because it doesn't do any damage. So, it's not an AoE uh, spell you can use to farm the minions. And Yeah, that makes it a little less useful, but I guess it's more of a subtle spell that you can use uh, to zone out opponents out of certain regions because if they run into it they're not going to be able to um, to chase you and if they stay on too long which means most of the time because <laughs> it's like a second and a half you need to be on there and that's not a whole lot of time especially with the slow um, yeah you get stunned so you can take a lot more damage because of that so then the ultimate, you might have already see, uh, seen it, uh, Chaos Storm. It is kind of the uh, the thunder clouds, see, and now he needed the, uh, the stun platform. Because with the stun platform he would have been able to zone out the, uh, the Shaco. But yeah, if you don't like it, you don't like it, and... Um, yeah, there's no point in taking a skill that you're not going to use anyway. Oh, the uh, the laser actually providing vision. That is nice. Oh, <laughs> that was the ultimate, or that is the ultimate. It's kind of a thunder cloud with uh, a hole in the middle, or a moon in the middle. I don't know what it's supposed to be. A singularity, whatever. Uh, so it's supposed to be a black hole, I'm guessing. Uh, anyway, it does quite a bit of damage, and you can uh, send it after a champion, just like the uh, the Tibbers on Annie. And you can also... Wow, are they not going to get this? No, it seems... Oh, no, no, no. Warwick will be much faster. Yep, there we go. Um... Yeah, it's uh, like the bear, like Tibbers, uh, does AoE damage, and uh, you can send it after a champion. You can also send it to a region on the map. So you can uh, redirect it by clicking R again, and just selecting a new spot to, uh, to send it to. And there's the stun platform, and as you can see, it's quite easy to get a stun. And once you get a stun, you can of course use your Q and E, uh, as well as your ultimate, to uh, do extra damage. And, well, in team fights, it will probably be a big deal. And once again, needing the flash to get out, but... Oh, dice damage on, uh, on Timo there. Timo is going to die. And Warwick building some, uh, some great sustain, it seems, because... He's not... Uh, wow, yeah. He did take a little bit too much damage there. Anyway, uh, Warwick uh, doesn't seem to mind too much that uh, people are hitting him. Obviously, at some point he will die. But that's okay. <laughs> um, Warwick is building... Well, just Madras Racers, so... Yeah, nothing special. He just has some great sustain with his Q uh, in normal circumstances. Anyway, 3 and 3 for now. Uh, this was played basically when Victor was still very new. So, yeah, 
he's still uh, finding out how to uh, how to play him the best way. So I'm sure that if you see this in like a month from now, that well, the Victor playstyle will be different from what he's using at this moment. But yeah, you have to start somewhere. You have to try out the skills and. Uh, Basically, once you have a build, you should try it a little bit, and um, yeah, they're trying to gank here, obviously, because we can see Warwick in the top brush, but Brand with double buff, yeah, that is uh, hard to deal with. Well, Brand with blue, I guess, is hard to deal with. But yeah, Warwick staying there way too long, he should either engage or get out of there. But Warwick does have his ultimate, so might be nice to get the Warwick ultimate off and then uh, put down the gravity field from Victor for something like a three and a half second stun. Nope, not getting it done because Warwick, yeah, engaging at the wrong moment. And are we going to see a kill? Yeah, there we go. And yeah, Shaco coming in as well. Shaco doing some damage, but yeah, taking a whole lot more damage than he did. And yeah, now he is uh, kind of <laughs> in some trouble. Because he's not going to be able to do a whole lot here. And apparently you cannot one-shot the... Uh, the Jack in the Box, at least at level 3, with the level 3 death ray. I think a level 4 death ray will manage to do that. Uh, we're now at 5, 1, 3, and 1 level in the ultimates. So Brand kind of overextending a little bit every now and then. And that makes it uh, possible for Victor to actually do some damage. On the other hand, he has been overextending mainly when uh, Shaco was around. So, yeah, that may uh, cause that to happen as well. So, basically, he's trying to be aggressive when his jungler is coming in for a gank. And it has worked most of the time. I mean, I think he died four times now. Uh, actually died five times, <laughs> but three of those were uh, were kills on his behalf. Or, well, he j he does have three kills. I guess one of the times he didn't actually die. But yeah, Victor apparently not a champion you can just one shot. Uh, mainly, well, because uh, he's very agile. He can run around pretty quickly. And we now see an upgraded hex core, at which is now 3 ability power per level. We already had that, so 220 health, sec uh, 6 health regen per second, per 5 seconds, sorry. And how is 6 health regen per 5 seconds any good? I mean, that's 1 health per second. Hmm, I'm not sure. But it increases the movement speed by 30% and that is why he is so quick. And it is so hard for Brand to land anything. So basically these are... Yeah, kind of really bad boots now. Because the boots... Yeah, they have increased movement speed of 50 at level 1. So 50 points. And uh, 70 when they're level 2 boots, and 90 when they're level 3 boots. So, yeah, 70 out of what would be uh, 310 in the beginning. That's about the same as this... Uh, oh, steal the dragon. Come on. Did they get it? I don't think they got it. But they're going to get this... Uh, yeah, the kill on, on this Teemo. And Warwick... <laughs> flashing and ulting. And they are going to get a lot of kills here, come on. 
Get him. <laughs> oh my god. It's a little bit laggy. It's because XSplit, the, the last update, kind of made it laggy. And... Oh, two of them run out at like 10 HP. Oh, that is such a shame. Yeah, it may have also been because it was a 4v5 fight, something like that. Um, yeah, because I'm pretty sure the, the top laner was there as well. But, wow. So close, but yet didn't manage to get the uh, the kills, and that is quite yeah quite a big deal, obviously. Because all that ma all that matters is whether or not you land a killing blow. It doesn't matter whether you can uh, take out ninety percent of their health. It's the last point of health that is actually important. Um, yeah, Talon getting really aggressive, but yeah, apparently rightfully so. Because Talon does a lot of damage. Anyhow, bottom lane now in some trouble. Oh, no, 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 never mind. Timo's enemy. Nobody cares. And Timo is going to not get killed. Wow. Shaco coming in right at the correct moment. And then Greg is coming in and they are going to land two kills it seems. At least I'm not assuming that this... No, no, no. Soraka would survive. Um, but yeah, she didn't survive. Someone should go get this. And Victor is coming back mid. Yeah, the team fight so far not doing too well. Uh, they're still ahead in kills, but yeah, the um, the fights aren't going too well because they keep uh, kind of messing up on the damage. So they do 90% of the damage to someone and then kind of don't kill them. But finally, Malphite joined in the fight, and uh, that will make a big difference because now. They are uh, actually have five guys that are or that may be in the fight. Top lane is getting pushed, and they are all going bottom lane because that is getting pushed too. No stun platform, or well, eventually it comes out, but it was a little bit low, uh, slow. Sorry. Um, yeah, they do get an easy kill on uh, on Gragas here. And the enemy is not going to do anything to uh, to get back at them. So they're not going to um, use the distraction to, for example, take out top turrets. Which is kind of surprising. Because normally we see the, the enemy team if something like this happens, where there are no teleports, by the way. Um, if something like this happens, where you have a 4v5 situation, or no, a 1v5 situation, then um, the other four will normally just leave him there and go push a turret, or kill a dragon, or a baron, or something like that. Because you know that the whole enemy team is chasing after one of your champions, so they're not going to be able to stop you from doing whatever you want to do. Which all in all is a uh, quite significant. Um, yeah, a hex that gunblade by now. Um, yeah, the Boots of Lucidity, he had the, those for quite a while. And two Dorn's Rings for the mana regen, as well as some additional health, of course. The health is quite significant. And you do get some uh, some AP from them, so great items. But as I said, because of the hex core, you cannot really start off like all of the uh, other other casters can with uh, with a lot of those. So two is probably the max because with 
two in boots. You already have four slots uh, gone. And you want to have either wards or uh, healing potions for the early game. So that makes five slots and then you have one slot to build your last item in or your bigger item in. Shaco is going to get out for now. Let's put down another. Uh <laughs> oh wow, another uh, Jack in the Box and Victor really aggressive with the uh, uh, whatever it's called. Oh, he jumped over. Let's see where he comes out. Eventually, they do get him. Nice. Uh, so. Victor flashing over the wall, but yeah, that w really wasn't necessary in my opinion. But yeah, well, he tried to chase him down, and that in and of itself is good enough. So a lot of damage going off here on uh, multiple champions, and they do get uh, three kills out of that. And losing this Raka, but... And Gregus, he might still die. But, yeah, he's still alive for now. Let's see if he can actually stay alive. Nope. He had the chance to run back, but didn't do it. And... <laughs> yeah, eventually he does get killed. And he he had plenty of time to go back. Anyway, they're going to assault the turret a little bit. Um, Graves, for some reason, attacking the Shaco instead of just the turrets. I mean, he could have gotten the turret like 70%. But Shaco may be annoying, he doesn't really do anything. Um, Shaco currently has. Yeah, Boots of Mobility, don't get those, dudes. Get those if you're a roaming Shaco or a jungle Shaco, and you want to be all over the map, not if you're doing it like this guy. Uh, this guy is just at one or on one place uh, of the map, in most of the cases in bottom lane. And there is no reason to get level 5 boots, it's just a waste of space in your inventory and a waste of money. Um, yeah, for the rest he has some, yeah, kind of blah items. Doesn't really have any damage. So I wouldn't be too afraid of him and I could have gotten most of that turret. Uh, yeah, he has about 150 damage, but yeah, that's not really impressive. Considering that this guy has 180 damage. It may al only be a 30 damage difference, but... Uh, there may also be 1.1 attack per second, and let's see, Shaco, come on, Shaco, come on, come on, dude. Where's Shaco? Shaco's nowhere to be found anymore. Oh, don't keep running away. Oh, there we go. 1.1 uh, as well, so... Oh, that was a nice <laughs> death ray. That was a really nice one. Catching three guys and almost killing all three of them. Yeah, getting the additional 25 gold is definitely worth using a, ski a skill. And they are going for Dragon now. Because they did a lot of damage, so everyone had to back off. And they killed the Teemo, so they should now go for this. And it's only Graves that is going for it. And we have double buffs, Victor. <laughs> Getting a free kill here because Gragas is being stupid. <laughs> ah, that was nice. I don't know what what Gregus was thinking he could do there, but yeah, okay. 
So they do see the two guys in the bush here because of the, the Warwick uh, bloodlust. And the ultimates from Bran doing, yeah, not a lot, doing some damage. Oh, who, who, who was that? Oh, that, w that was Warwick just jumping in there with no support from his team. And yeah, that, that was followed by Talon doing the same thing, but actually succeeding in doing that. And are they actually going to get someone? No. Oh, finally they do get Teemo. And yeah, this is probably the fake Shaco. Oh, Brand dying as well. It's a shame that we don't see the uh, the actual health bars. Yeah, well, now we do, but... Yeah, I don't think this guy is getting out either. He might get a kill on Soraka. Oh no, Soraka had a heal up. Healing for 300 there. That was quite, yeah, a big change of uh, of opportunity for uh, for Gragas because Gragas thought that well, with only 200 hit points to go, I may be able to kill her, and then all of a sudden it's 500 hit points, and there is a big difference in those. Um, apparently, we're going for Baron. Hmm. Yeah. This guy has uh, Matters Blood Razors, so I guess that should be doable. Assuming that they can actually get some uh, some activations on that, some activations on. Uh, oh no, th never mind. This one doesn't have that. It's only the other one that has that. So uh, yeah, this is just extra damage to the minions or to the uh, to the Baron. And Shaco getting killed quite easily. I don't know what he was doing there, but this is exactly what I was uh, mentioning earlier. He doesn't have the uh, the skills yet. He, he doesn't master the skills yet. Um, he could have easily gotten out of that, so planted a box, uh, gone invisible, and then just popped out of there. And escaped. I mean, that's what we see Shakos do all the time, so... Apparently not the best Shaco of all time. And yeah, Brent's taking a little bit of damage there from the buck shots. And now they grouped up with all five and they should be pushing something. So they uh, could of course get this blue and then go do something else, but Yeah, they should go push one of the lanes and get this turret down. Finally. And now probably uh, they should go for item bottom or top lane. But because uh, assaulting the inhibitor is really difficult because of this small opening that's here. But if you push two li lanes at the same time, you most of the time get one of the inhibitors. Of course you can still do it, because you can just poke the turret every now and then, so like they have now, as long as there are minions available, you can poke the turrets, and um, yeah, the enemy team not managing to get rid of the minions, so... Oh, we have some lag going on, that's why it's a little bit... Well, it's it, it has been like 10 FPS all game, and I have no idea why that is, because... Well, it hasn't lagged like this ever until the last update. And it is kind of annoying to uh, to see. Also, I cannot play with it on anymore. Because, well, you cannot play at 6 frames per second. That is just annoying. Anyhow, getting some, uh, yeah, some nice skills off here, by the way. 10 and 5 on uh, on Victor with 14 assists so he has been in a lot of fights and yeah that is what makes it uh, really strong to play such a champion you can do a whole lot of 
uh, damage, maybe not necessarily kill people with it, but you can do a whole lot of damage and harass and every great thing such as the stun and all in all that will make it so you uh, so you get a lot of gold and with a lot of gold you get a lot of well AP a lot of damage a lot of tankiness I guess yeah you see, you see the lag man that is just incredible couldn't see the Malphite ultimate at all you can only hear it and they're going to get the second turret and only the next is still standing but yeah the enemy team is not going to stop them at all not even close to stopping that <laughs> and there we go the nexus goes down um, I will do another winchman game by the way um, but I will do that with other recording software because this is just no good so I hope you still enjoyed the match I will see you next time GG